Okay, let's restart the recording, and not in the middle of a sentence, so it doesn't sound weird. And that's how we saved Christmas. I, that's how I opened the last part. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't windowed, but I managed to get it captured as a window. Yeah. So it should be a lot better. So this is Rabbit Night. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a couple years later by the same people, apparently. Yeah. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, I this <laughs> one I know the least about, because, um, again, I'm aware that there's Easter eggs in this one. <laughs> Easter rabbit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I actually don't remember where they are. All I know is that we may be focusing a bit more on Isabella this time. Really? Maybe. Okay. But... Let's, uh, let's, 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 uh, yeah, let's, start, let's, let's go down let's, this rabbit hole. That's enough waffling. Let's, as, as, as the guy from Nintendo Life would say, that's enough waffling. Let's dive right into this. <laughs> or things. Mm. That's enough waffling. Let's dive right into things. <laughs> <clears throat> Long ago, there was a kingdom run by rabbits. It's, it's like cube music. They lived in peace for a long time. Then, the mushrooms attacked. That's okay, I can just eat them. I like mushrooms. They took over the land, infecting everyone they touched. Ooh, that's a little gory, though. Ooh, that's, that is nasty. I was looking away. Every good knight and warrior they had was killed off one by one. Only one rabbit remained. A rookie rabbit named Rory. Even though he was horrified. He knew he was the only one who could stop them. Only Rabbit had the balls to fight. Well, I mean, you gotta keep in mind, everybody else got killed by the mushrooms, so... Okay, so no options. Oh, this is very smooth looking. Yeah. Yeah, this one runs a lot better. Oh, this whole screen shakes. That's interesting. Yeah. Wait, before I get into this, uh, mm -hmm. can I... Hold on. First off, this music is... slamming. Plus F4 to play in full screen. Now we're not going to do that. Left and right run. Z equals jump. X equals attack. Okay, in air, down, sword fall. Z down while grounded. Dodge roll. Okay. X plus up a secondary weapon. All right. All right, let's keep going. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Jamie. Uh, oh, right so this right is now. just straight up Castlevania. Yeah, yeah. I I think I told you this was very Castlevania inspired. But it's funny because canonically, Castlevania came out before this, or yeah, Castlevania did come out before this. So, 1983? No, this no, no, no. This is 1986. Is or Castlevania 80, 80, Castlevania was in 85, was it? I think so. But yeah. Now again, even if we go through just normally without finding anything, um, we should probably do a second playthrough where we do. Just in case. How long is this? Um, it's only one level and then one boss. Oh, alright. This but, is very short. Yeah, this one is much shorter. I appreciate- I, I, I'm appreciating the Andy's Apple Farm, uh, yeah. story for being concise and Somewhat easy to follow. Not really, though. Uh, <laughs> I guess I have to... Yeah, there we go. It looks like you can go through the, the UI. Yeah. Mm, try going up there. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I don't think I have enough. I think what I had to do was I had to bounce on those enemies. Oh. Well, try it from... No. Okay, maybe not. Well, there's another part to it, so... There you go. Oh joy. Oh boy. Yeah, 
What I like was that M36 actually took a lot of criticisms from uh, Chapter 1 and really improved on them. Because mm. again, this feels smoother, um, you know, there's more story, you're not going through as much. Oops. Oh, Castlevania was released the same year. Well, it's no wonder nobody heard about Rabbit Knight. It's because, uh... Oh, really? Was... All the way back to the beginning? Oh, my God. Oh. That's rough. Mm. I think there's no... Mid-air swing is really weird. Well, it's not really a swing. It's more of, uh... Attacking down. Like what Link does in, uh, Smash. Yeah, no, but I'm saying there's no way to attack when you're in the air. Yeah. Again, I like video games for the story, because, you know, you can do a little bit more, and it's all interactive, and that's, that's what I like about games. I don't really focus on the actual gameplay, because I'm just not that good at it. Oh, you can't really get a lot of air there. Hmm. What was it? <laughs> the graphic <Ooh>. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, it's 1986, so... I think this was also released for the same um, system, that big computer-looking thing. That, that Andy's Apple farm supposed yeah, to be on? Yeah, I, I think know. so. The only thing that's a little bit of a shame was um, this came out, I think, two weeks before Anthrocon, and I didn't see anybody cosplaying as Rabbit Knight, but uh -huh. maybe next year. Hmm. Yeah, I think there's about six Easter eggs total, I think. Again, I don't entirely remember. The TV I only effect watched... makes suck less, yeah. What's that? The TV effect makes the graphics suck a little less. Yeah. Alright, this is really hard. Oh, shit. something over there. I don't know. Hit those enemies, see what happens. Oh, Ooh, I think. Oh. Alright. Isabella. Jump scare? Are we getting a jump scare? No. no. Can you tell us what happened on Christmas Eve last year? Isabella, you can talk to me. I know it's hard to. You call us. talk to me? If we're going to solve well, it's what it says. Case, well, we'll, <laughs> well, that's why there's voice acting, so. The cameras. The cameras. The cameras. Uh 
office jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's implied that it's an interrogate or not an interrogation, but like she's in an interrogation room at a police station. I think that's what's implied. Oh, good. Oh, hey, it's our old buddy. <laughs> and he's gone. Run. run. Uh, you might want to run. Oh, good. Uh. Yeah. Cool. Oh, another cipher. I don't actually remember what this says. To be honest, I don't think anybody figured it out. But it stays up long enough for you to at least let it sink in. So Great, now my day is complete. <laughs> <laughs> So that was the first glitch. I think there's four or five more, but uh, I can only remember where there's one other. So do I get anything if I actually had beaten that somehow? Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do I that. I don't think so. Because um, Man Manly Badass Hero, <laughs> um, he actually <clears throat> did a playthrough of this, and he went through like all, mm. all the secrets. Again, I only watched him once, but I don't think you're able to outrun him. I don't think. Damn, look at all those Patreon supporters. Yeah, they're really getting, uh... They're really getting more, uh, more people. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, OMG, did the developer say, Hey, let's get back to sad reality of the story. Well, actually... Did 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 Oh. <laughs> no, it glitched. Oh. Is there something uh, else? I don't think. Oh. Yeah, just reloads. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, because I follow M36, and she said that, um, uh, well, first of all, she's, she's, uh, oh, she's no, in college right now. Oh, no, you gotta sit through this whole thing each time. Oh, no, wait, no. Mm. Never mind. I was gonna say, you, you don't have to sit through this whole <laughs> thing every time, do you? Yeah. Well, anyway, um, so she said that, um, that chapter two is, is, she's gonna try to finish it in 2022, um, but between college and, uh, she's just having a real hard time, I think, just trying to work on it in general. And, um, but she had a lot of fun developing this, but she still wanted to incorporate Annie's Apple Farm into the story of this game. Or, you know, it, yeah. Oh. I figured there'd be a hidden secret down there, but I was wrong. I know there is a hole. If you go down one of them and die, to a quote, die. it does lead to, it does lead to another east another Easter egg. Um But yeah. Um so again she I think she wants to finish it before the end of twenty twenty two. That's just my guess. Um but we'll we'll see what happens. I and I'm I think what is it? I think she said somewhere that she might have ADHD, I think. Um, but again, we don't, we don't, you know, it's cool. Because I might be, you know. But anyway. So. Yeah. As we're trying to look for this uh, other pole, I guess. There's, there's one where you go over the, one of those ledges. And, um. There we go. Yep. I figured it had to be that one, because the first one you can't jump too high off of. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with. I hope you all at home are having a fabulous Christmas. However, last night, Christmas Eve wasn't so great for a family on the outskirts of Pumpkin County. The 7th and West Avenue Road property caught fire around 1 a.m. Friday morning. The cause of the fire is still unknown. However, the Pumpkin County Sheriff's Department states that the reason may have been a fallen Christmas tree too close to an open fireplace. There are suspected Wait, they live in Pumpkin County, cases. really? Yep. However, no bodies have been found as of yet. A 13-year-old girl was the only person found on the scene after waving <laughs> down a family in their car for help. Police arrived on the scene shortly after. This is right next to the lake where a 10-year-old boy from the same family was presumed dead at Lake Keystone Lake Key just at Lake Key two months ago. <laughs>
I think it's the same thing from the last Easter egg. Oh, okay. So it's the same shit no matter what I do. I th I'd assume so. Before dying, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try cracks to see what it does. I think it's a bit of a. Um, it's a bit of a. Uh, run. Run. Yeah. Run. Get my thought out later. Oh, well, the music's different. It's like impossible because you have to jump up there and that enemy's in the way. Mm. And then there's that cipher again. Yeah, so I think the point of that glitch was if it wasn't implied in chapter one, um, <laughs> the it's implied that the Christmas tree fell too close to the fireplace. So, so always remember, peeps, don't keep your Christmas trees too close to the fireplace, or else, uh, or else you're gonna have all that stuff happen. And oh, you don't want that for anybody. Yeah, so. what I was gonna say earlier before was, um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think, um, I think the, the the idea that like the most creative, the most creative out there games and, and stories are told when people are on drugs. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, a generalization. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie and say that that's never the case, but. I think in most cases it's obviously not really true. I mean, this, the way the, especially with the way the world is right now, people's minds are all over the fucking place. Yeah. So, I think we're gonna see some of the weirdest shit that people can think of, in the, especially in the coming years. Yeah. And the other thing is that storytelling, in and of itself, is an art form. You have to, you know, you have to practice, you know, not just, <clears throat> you know, you have to practice how to tell a good story, mm. you know. Um. But yeah. So you have to know how to do that before you can do anything else, you know? Yeah. And again, we already have a good story down, but the best storytellers already have, you know, not just not just the the whole story, but mostly the ending, you know? Um, I know Martin Walls, for, for example. He's the guy who does the Walton Files. Um, um, he, he has the whole story already panned out. It's just a matter of him figuring out, okay, how do I tell it, you know? So, you know, it's not even just playing games, it's not even just watching movies, you know, like, read a, like read books, you know? Read comics, read stories, read novels, you know? Um, because there's probably stuff in there that you're gonna be like, oh, wow, that's really cool, and then you'll want to make, you'll want to incorporate that into your own story, you know? Like, a lot of people compare Andy's Apple Farm, you know, as a series to The Walton Files because of, you know, the creepiness of the nostalgia. And, and they're both analog horror as well. Yeah, and honestly, I'm a total sucker for it because, you know, it's, you know, even though, yeah, it's scary, but it's still nostalgia. And, you know, I guess that's kind of what's in right now, and that's kind of what's getting people to play games like these, so. Anywho. Oh, I know someone that keeps the same Christmas tree for years. Well, I really hope it's fake, because if it's not, then uh, they should probably get a new one. There's a local diner that I go to that keeps their Christmas tree up all the time, and the way, <laughs> the way it is, they just decorate it for each holiday. <laughs> yeah, I've seen uh, people make, like, uh, Halloween, uh, Halloween trees, so... Ah, ooh, 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 man. Okay. It's a bit slippery. Whoa. either.
that looks weird down there because there's like a weird like angling to that rock, but I just don't want to go down there and find it right now. Okay. He said, and for creating a story, you need to be creative uh, because when you see the number of stories that can be created. <laughs> um, well, let me tell you guys something that I actually read in a book once. Good artists copy, great artists steal. So what that means is that Ooh, okay. an, an amateur artist, um, they'll only copy from one source, and that's it. But a great artist will copy things, multiple things from multiple sources. Oh, you know what? That hole over there, that's a glitch. Or not a glitch, but uh... Yeah. Yep. Told you. I just don't like having to redo this entire thing every single time. <laughs> it's slippery. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that is Thomas's unc uh, Thomas's brother to May twenty second, nineteen eighty six. Interesting. So this is he died after the incident. Yep. Ooh. Okay. I think that's a sunflower. I think. Is that really all there was to that one? Uh, yeah. But that roll is not coming. Oh, maybe it will come in handy over here. Okay, that does not make you. You are not immune to damage. You are not immune to mushroom ganda. Let's see. The thing is, I don't want to copy, even if a lot of people told me that everyone is copying stuff. Well, like, look at this game, for example. You know, glitches aside. It's it's literally The Last of Us with Castlevania, and it has the aesthetics of, like, Cave Story, you know? Yeah, those are all, you know, those are all, I don't want to say similar, but... This is way too fast to, to yeah. pull out of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, all of those games are not similar, but, you know, you know, when it's, it's, that's what an amalgamation of Rabbit Knight is, you know? Or at least that's what it is to me, you know? Um, that's the other thing. There's so much stuff out there that, um, you know, being compared to something else, I think, is kind of all but inevitable. But the thing about it is that, um, you know, if you want to try to market it to somebody, you can just say, hey, Rabbit Knight, it's Castlevania meets Cave Story meets... Yeah, I, I, I mean, I suppose so. I think a lot of people nowadays try not to have their games compared to other things, but... Yeah. It, I, I don't it's know. It's kind it, of it's... inevitable, you know? It's really hard to... Yeah. Well, what a lot of people are doing now is they're ta is um you know they're having their own spin on different stories. You know, look at how many versions of Robin Hood there are. Mm -hmm. um, oh, what is it? Um, I know the movie Black Swan, for example. That oh, I can't remember which Greek story it's based off of, but it is based on a um, no. I'm sorry, it's based off of the Swan Princess. I'm stupid. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, but yeah, so I think that's kind of what people are doing now, you know? They're, they're doing their own take on something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long ago. Have, I, have I missed any glitches yet, or? No, I think. Okay, so I've gotten all of them in sequence at this point. Yeah. And what was that? Personally, if I had the choice between doing something creative but bad or something not creative but good, I would prefer to be creative even if it's bad. Yeah, honestly, and that's, you know, when you start any creative endeavor, that's kind of the mindset you have to, that you gotta go in with. You know, even if it doesn't look great, even if it's, even if you don't think it's good right now, just honestly, just keep practicing. There's a quote from Bob Ross that I really love. Anything you're willing to practice, you can do. And, you know, you know, like, I've been drawing for about, like, almost 20 years at this point. Um, 
And, you know, if you look at the stuff that I post on Twitter when, when it's all drawings I do, you know, I'd say, that, I'd say they're pretty good. You know. Um, and now I can say I've done stuff for music videos. I've, um, I've done music. I, you know. And the thing with my music is that, you know, it's, you know, um... In terms of music theory, it's not great, but that's because I just don't really know a lot. So I kind of use just what I know, and I kind of just go from there, you know? Um, I love how you mention all that, and you don't even mention the fact that you've worked on The Simpsons. Oh, yeah. Technically. <laughs> See, that's the other thing. I keep thinking, forgetting about it. Um, yeah, I I had an internship uh, with Bill Clinton, and I got it through, um, I got it through a friend of mine. And, uh, yeah, I basically helped work on a Simpsons DVD. Unfortunately, because I was an intern, I don't think I'm gonna get credit for it, but, you know, I can I mean, say... It's, it's out. I'm, yeah, it's, it it's, might You might be in the DVD credits, who knows? Maybe. I don't know. The animation's there, though, and you definitely worked on it. <laughs> Look, I mean, all I really did was kind of just flat color a bunch of frames. Yeah, but, I mean, that's still, that's still really good. <laughs> Thank you. Your coloring work was really good. Mm. And, um, you know, I did some internship for, um, uh, the Mother Goose Club. It's, it's kind of like Sesame Street, but it's just all, like, the songs and sequences, you know? The non-sequiturs. Um, but that was really fun. Oh, really? That was a nice cheap shot. Mm. The thing is that even Bioshock has creative, but that took so much inspiration from Monument. Can't remember the name, but I'm gonna go. Yeah, uh, um, yeah, see the thing with- shit, oops. Oh. Well, I don't think you have to go through the cutscene again, at least, so. Oh good, and it starts me at 1-2. Yeah. Alright. I just lost all my sub-weapons, which yeah. is a little annoying, but okay. Mm. But yeah, um, uh, Dr. Chaiki 07, um, you know, uh, even the aesthetics of that, that's all from, like, the early, early 20th century. Like, very, like, the, like we're talking the 1890s, so, you know, I don't know the story of Bioshock, but, you know, I'm sure there's other things that, I don't want to say copy it, but, um, are similar, but, oh, that's, that's cool. <laughs> um, but, you know, there's, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's... What? Spores alive. Oh, yeah. That looks like a glitch of some sort up there. Yeah. Mm, I don't think I'd be able to reach it though. Probably not. Hmm. Yeah, so if it helps, this is the second half of level one, so we're already halfway there. That might be a glitch. I see, like, there's a blue background behind it. And I think this is the first boss. Yes, it is. I thought there was only one boss. Yeah, and this is it. Huh, same sub weapon I have. Very interesting. Was that even pawn the kind of an adaptation of tennis? Yeah, exactly, but. You know, it, it takes a concept, but it uses that concept for its own specific medium, uh -huh. you know? Um, and it's the same with books, movies, and other stuff, which is crazy, so I feel like I will never be creative. Don't say that! Oh, you know? I can't, uh... Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I can't drop down on that enemy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you, Yeah, verbatim's right. If you can create stuff, you're creative. Even if it copies something else, you know? I remember when I was a kid, I, um, I wouldn't call it a persona, but it was definitely, like, an anthro-animal character. It was this, uh, it was this Chinese-crested dog that was a samurai, and it was literally just straight up Roni Kenshin with glasses. <laughs> um, but, you know, but, you know, that's, that's still really cool, you know, just, just how it sounds is a really cool concept, you know? What? Oh, I did it. Stop. 
Stage one. 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 Stage one. Ha ha. Oh. I'm guessing the final glitch is just beating the stage, so... Yeah. <laughs> hey, goof cat! Oh no, it looks like an error has occurred. Who's supposed to enter to restart the game? What is it? Just spilled cheese all over my desk. How's your day going? Like liquid cheese or like solid cheese? Because I could easily pick that up. <laughs> How do you spill cheese? Unless it's like that cheese whiz stuff. Cheese sauce. Well, I mean, I bought like cheese dip. Yeah. Right, is anything gonna happen if I wait on the screen? I don't now? think so. Oh, what was that? I'll have to slow down the footage and return to that later. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. What am I saying? I could just boop, hit that, and then I could hit this. Check this out. So I can, uh. Wait. Okay. <laughs> We're investigating uh, what it said. Whoop. Yep. It's up for like. I have to delete this clip though. Don't give up yet. Wait. Shit. The truth is yet. Shit. Don't give up. Don't give up yet. The truth has yet to be revealed. There we go. Yeah. What is that? Your day is ruined. Cheese spillage is the worst of Oh, me. you spilled Parmesan. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so we found how many now? Three or three? We found three, to or four total. Yeah. Because I guess beating the game is one of them. Yeah. Again. What's that? Parmesan. <laughs> he spells it Parma and John. Like, like... Johnny Quest. <laughs> so wait, I have to ask, do you know where all the glitches are? I, the ones that I showed you were the ones that I remember. Oh, so you don't know, are you sure there's only there's, six total? I want to say there's two more. There's another one involving Isabella, um, at, uh, if it's, uh, if it's not a therapist's house, I think it's at Jeffrey, the that that mugshot. You're not that mugshot, but the uh, the image that we <laughs> saw of Jeffrey, um, Thomas's brother. Yeah. So. Yeah, but if we can't get to any other um, things, then when we wrap up the stream, I'll, uh, I'll 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 share all of the secrets. What is that? I need a seed. <laughs> <sighs> Redeem squawk acting. Yeah, 500. Yeah, that's. I gotta change that. What? So I don't know anything about Twitch. What, uh. That's a channel point thing. Oh, okay. Uh, hold on. Yep, take your time. I'm just keeping an eye on chat, that's all. The pause function. Okay. I need seed! It means they got. They want. They gotta be. They gotta get me to read something, but. I just typed a, a random line in there, so. Oh, it's like a super chat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, it's not a super chat. It's a request. <laughs> a super chat. Super chats on YouTube have money involved. Oh. Channel points do not require money. Oh. That's just bi you just accumulate them by watching the channel. Oh. Let's see. I wanted to write something offensive because I love that, but since I couldn't, I righted this. <laughs> Alright, so there's two holes we're gonna try, but there's two things we're gonna try at the end here. Yeah. There's a hole at the end, and then there's that obvious thing. And also, I think I might know where another one might be in that first room. Okay. I might, I'm gonna have to go back and check. It probably might be that one. Ooh! Ooh! I don't think. Oh, oh, wait. Wait. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. I don't actually remember this one. 
Dear Susan, Susan and my daughter, daughter Summer, Summer, as you, you well know, after my brother's death, he took in his daughter Isabella as his own. I know she may seem quiet and reserved, but you should try to open up to her. I know she may seem a little odd, but I think Isabella and Summer could become great sisters. Try talking to her a bit more. Okay, she's been through a lot. She could use a little bit of support from you two. Love, Jeffrey. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That one didn't actually end the game. Yeah! It did count as a death, though, because I have no sub-weapon oh. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> That's okay. Good thing I know how to read fast! <laughs> Let's see, can I do that again? Stick obtained and devoured. Nice. Awesome. Well, I'm glad we were able to entertain you uh, for dinner. Okay, it's yeah, the same it's shit. Same. I see we are a Benui. Yeah, so, um, Sparina, this is Rabbit Night. This is sort of a spin off. To Andy's apple farm, but there's a lot of secrets in this game that are related to the um, the uh, the lore behind it. Yeah. So. All right, we've already got that one. Right. And there's the spores. Okay, wait. Tasha. All right, you know what? I'm gonna come back to that one. Because uh, I want to see if the hole over here is actually a glitch. Okay, there's nothing there. Oh, nice. We do love extended universes. <laughs> True. I was able to maneuver, but I don't think there was a glitch down there. No, I don't think so. So the only one I can definitely guarantee is that one in the corner mm. of that one area where, this, where they where they generate. Right. It's the only one I could for sure know that there's probably something there. Mm. Like there's a 99% chance that there is. <clears throat> I'm 100% sure that there is a 90% chance of there being a thing there. <laughs> you know what I think that last ending might be? I think you have to kill all the, the mushrooms and bad guys. Really? I think. But let's try it anyway and see where it goes. It'd be very hard. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I need to bounce off one and then bounce off that one when yeah. I can get up there. Come on, guys. Come on, you fungal friends. Come on, you fun guys. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> ah, it's no good. I don't think I get enough bounce off them. You still have a little more mushroom.
Dang it. I'm getting impatient now because I'm just like, I, <laughs> I don't know what else there is to do here. is just there to be a signal, just saying, hey, there's a thing over here, and then after you kill it, you can just jump over the mushroom, and then that can get you over there. Maybe? Just, just I don't know. theory. Nice. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> hold on. I didn't want to say that out loud. I was just gonna oh. imply that I was just like looking at my phone for something else and unrelated. But okay, Sorry. I, it's nothing but videos, and I don't want to load up a video. I was streaming so early, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing my Nessie's here. Yeah. I agree, Sperna. This music is a bop. No, you just don't. It's just, I don't think you get enough height doing that. No, I meant you kill the mushroom, that one, yeah. and then you jump off from, from one of them that was coming. Oh. Yeah. Because hmm. you still have those. I'm calling them boomerangs, they're probably not as good. Mayhaps. Perhaps. That's off locked. Uh-oh. Yeah, that that enemy not that enemy did that before to me. It like uh -oh. locked me over in the corner. Uh-oh. I have to stop. Sorry. All right. <laughs> What's that? Door stuck. What yeah, door's, door's stuck? <laughs> what do? Okay. Uh I, Please I beg you, door stuck. These passwords and some okay. Infected Knight is the boss. Okay. Secondary weapon, door, dodge roll, sword fall. Okay. So there's nothing I wasn't getting there that I wasn't mm. already understanding. Let's right. load it back up. Yeah, I know. The door stuck guy is, is going through uh, copyright bullshit because someone's just randomly copyright claiming him. And that's, uh, that's a lot of bullshit. YouTube mm -hmm. really needs to fix that shit yeah. immediately. I'm not gonna act like Twitch is amazing either, because let's be honest, Twitch has its own share of problems, but... Oh, yeah. Come on, YouTube, really? Yeah. Wait, what's that? Yeah, YouTube needs to... Yeah, I agree. Unfuck their system, yeah. <laughs> the only thing, though, press is Press the part unfuck of... button. The only thing, though, is a part of me kind of... I don't know, it just feels like, to me, it's not entirely just YouTube, it's probably like... No, it's just the modern internet in general, but yeah. like that alone is already a problem. Yeah. Well, yes, I agree, Spring. Understandable. Have a great evening. Yeah. Again, that's why a part of me kind of says it's not entirely YouTube's fault, and they had to force their hand. Um, no, they didn't have to force their hand, though, because this is all an automated system. Yeah, that and it's literally just copyrighted claimed a video for no reason, and then someone made a, an account and then copyright claimed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I think that's my headphone doing that when it cuts out for a second. No, mine's doing it too. No, I know. It's the, I think it's the headphones. I think these, these headphones aren't perfect. They're very cheap. Oh. I just really like the charging box they came in. Yeah. But, uh... I don't know, I'll have to see. If they if they start causing more and more problems long term, I'll get another pair. Mm. These I just got because my old pair, the left earbud, was not like getting any sound anymore. Yeah, that'll happen. Alright. Oh, well. There's one spot that I think might have a secret. Okay. Because it, it has a no, it has no platform, but it has a column. Mm. Uh, let's see. Oh, also I just wanted to share a really cool little game that's called Hot Right here. No. Oh. Uh, I, I also just wanted to share a really cool old game that's called Hostage on Amiga. It has an adaptation of the NES, and, and weirdly, the name of the game changed to Rescue, but it's a really cool game. Interesting. Never heard of it. Uh, verbatim. I've had to remove so many songs off my content ID playlist because uh, of random people putting copyright in songs. Also, yeah, YouTube are the, are the worst since 2017. I'm going to say 2014 because, um... M. Lemon did a really great video um, about what how bad YouTube got when Susan, um, I don't want to say came into power, but uh, when she became the CEO. I'm going to go on a limb and say that YouTube was never really all that great, because even back in the day when it was yeah. less less monitored, you know, the technology wasn't as good, yeah. it was still going through beta stuff. And honestly, like, my, my opinion is if they were really going to be, if you really going to be that gung-ho now about copyrighted content, then they should have been that way from the beginning. Yeah. And they shouldn't have let, they shouldn't have set a standard by being the wild west of video sharing, <laughs> and then immediately saying, okay, we're going to clean up our act now, and, and everyone else is going to get screwed over. Yeah. Maybe try taking down the, the awful, dumbass conspiracy drama videos first, maybe, and then worry about copyright? Well, I'm not gonna get political here, so, uh, let's see. Yeah, but at least YouTube was free to upload any video you want. I guess... I don't know. I mean, so is Daily Motion, but let's be honest, that site's never gonna be... Oh, that site's yeah. gonna be Pirate Heaven. Oh, yeah. Alright, I, I... There's one more spot I wanna check over here. But I think, uh, I think we're kind of done with this. So that column was just a red herring. There was nothing there. Yeah. This column right here. Yeah. Alright, now. I thought that okay. cliff at the bottom being, like, angled like that meant something, but apparently not. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I mean, of course there was the most important basic rules, like, ex like extreme real violence, scam, and all that stuff. But the All other right. thing YouTube did was censoring videos that are nothing wrong. Yeah. I, I've hit the end of my uh, my my patience here. Uh oh. I'm gonna look up. Uh, well, first off, I'm gonna add a bunch of videos to my uh, watch later list because a lot of people uploaded stuff. Yeah. Completionist did a video of Proton John Gunstar Heroes. Nice. Uh, yeah. Cool. Not a huge. I don't watch a whole lot of Proton John, but he's a cool dude. Um, he he makes he, he gets. He, he gets loot art on his main account, which is really solidarity right there. Um, okay. <laughs> Rabbit Knight, all secrets. All secrets and endings. 32 minutes. Well, we're not we're not sitting on the screen for 32 minutes, but... Check the comments section. Maybe someone will need a timestamp. Yeah. Yeah, and that's another thing that they're, like, trying to, like... I don't want to say nope, try to get around. No no timestamps. Oh, there aren't? Nope. Well, all right. Well, I can just scrub through this real quickly. Oh, I, it looks so much cleaner on this person's screen than it does on ours. Really weird. Yeah. You're also watching it on a smaller screen, so I guess things just look a little bit crispier on a cell phone. Maybe. We're not yeah, crispy. That might be it. You know what I mean. Alright, okay. Alright, we saw that one already. Ooh, that's new. Okay, what is how do I get that one?
Wait, what? Okay, what did they do no, differently? you know what? I think they just defeated all the enemies up until that point. Oh. Yeah. That's why I kept saying you should probably defeat all the enemies you see. Man, that's gonna be rough. Okay. Oh, there's well, a lot to that one, until, too. It's only up until the second half of the level, so... No, that's the end of the level that they're going to. Oh. Also, did you notice I'm, all, I'm always completely out of subject and talk about everything? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's it's cool. I I do the same thing. I'm, I'm surprised no one has told me to shut up yet. Um, but, yeah. Okay. I guess it is possible to win the run sequence, but man, that that looks like it takes forever. I get that. Again, I think you have to, you know, complete, you know, defeat all the enemies you see, um, and then survive, uh, survive Peter Pumpkin's horror. Alright. Let's get a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Much so, honey, you are a lot better at this game than I would be. It's not terrible. I mean, well, I mean, it's not a bad game at all. It's actually really fun. It's just yeah. very slippery. You yeah. have to be, you have to get used to the jump arcs and the, uh, yeah. and the, uh, and the knockback. gonna get away now. Like, did I mess up because that enemy got away? I'm not sure. Uh, also, I finally found the big inspiration of Bioshock, which is not a museum, but it's the Rocket Bowl. So, yeah, that's very, um, yeah. Because I've, I've been there before, so... I'm gonna play Shovel Knight. Yeah. I uh, I still have to do a New Game Plus run of a couple of those modes, but I played it on the 3DS, so there's like no way I could stream my old file. I have to rebuy the game if I want to stream it. Instant damage. <laughs> okay. Wasting five of those to kill one dude. Yo, what's going on? There you go. <clears throat> I don't know if that counts, but whatever. Also, 
slowing late, but I love the music. It's okay. To be honest, I thought you were here the whole time, so... No, he, he meant like to oh. comment on that. Oop. Oh. Oop. Maybe killing all the enemies only applies to this room. Mm, maybe. Oh, but I can't do it now because I don't have enough weapons. Oh. Um, Alright, I, I don't know. We could just end it here and then we could tell everybody, okay, you can go look for the secrets on your own. But that secret was so enticing. Oh. Yeah. We've been streaming for three hours now. <laughs> um, you could call it here, and then you could maybe play it on your own. Oh, I don't want to... It's, I don't it's up to I'll you. Know, I'll make one more shot at this. Alright. Right. One more shot, and then after that, we uh, we could probably end it. I know, I'm, I'm like sounding so like languished right now. I don't know why. Well, you've been playing... You, you played, two, you know, two and a half games. Uh, two, yeah. <laughs> one, one full game and two half games? I don't know. Long ago, Kingdom Rabbits. Raving Rabbits. Rabbit. <laughs> Alright. Another shot. Yeah. And then, uh, once we end it, I'm not sure if we're gonna have logistics for it, but I did actually draw some stuff for uh, for the stream. But if we can't get it to show on here, then at the very least I'll post it to Twitter later. I mean, if you want me to show it, I would have to have it on the desk. You'd have to send it through Telegram because I yeah. need to send it. On, I would need to set it up. Yeah, you know what? Let me do it right on the now. Desktop. Right, so. I actually don't have Telegram on on the desktop right now because it shuts off whenever I reset the computer. And that's okay. But I will get it back up. Yeah. It's technically three images, but two of them are the same, and then it was like, oh, wait a minute, everything is done uh, 19, 1920 by 1080. So. That one thing got away again, and now I'm just like, oh, should I even bother? <laughs> Not to mention earlier, but you got this S and Box Dev Access yet yesterday. S and Box? Like Xbox? I mean that's pretty cool. That's yeah, that is pretty neat. Yeah. Oh G Gmod 2. They're making a Gmod 2? Oh yeah, that's right. Oh. They are making a Gmod 2. S M Box is a new game, a new Gary game. All oh, right. Oh. Oops, I, I keep looking at the wrong screen <laughs> when I'm clicking out. I shouldn't be doing that right now. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on the comment section. Sounds good. I need to. I need to. I want to do an orchestral cover. Obtain this. Are you I'd love to do a cover of this. I'm probably do it in a different key though. Maybe the one that um, happened when we found that, that uh, I'm calling it the tunnel glitch. Maybe. Hup, hup. We'll see. And then maybe I'll do what I did for um, Sounds of Surprise and just take like a sound sample of Peter Pumpkin. But not gonna lie, it seems to not be as good, but maybe it's because I'm a butt who wants everything perfect. No! Every time one of them gets away! Ah! Alright. It's like one of them got away now, so I don't know if that counts. And I also don't know if this room even matters to this. Oh look, I got I got glitched again. Uh oh. I could dodge go. roll out of it. Okay. What is that? The play models kind of suck, but Gary's refusing to change them. Well, I mean, if it's like a Gary's mod too, maybe um, maybe people will be able to mod it. As long as they don't do what VR chat did, where they just took it away because oh, that's cheating. Like I'm. I do, like I don't play VR chat. I would like to, but again, they don't they don't run it on on a Mac, so I can't play it. 
Um, but I'm really genuinely disappointed for the future of VR because of that, you know? Because it's like, what else do we have besides VR chat? And I, I'm, I'm asking genuinely because, again... I mean, we, we also have Neo's VR. We have uh, Chill Out VR is the new one that came out. Okay. Well, and also we have each VR game. Like, this is the thing. VR is not going to die because... Like, PlayStation or Sony, they don't care about VR chat. They're, they care about making VR games, so they're going to continue to make VR headsets. Same with Steam and the Valve Index. Right. Because, like, yeah, I that, just, thing, that thing is the highest-end piece of equipment, too. I want one of those at some day. Right. I just don't want for VR what happened to Second Life. You know what I mean? Where you could more... Where as long Oops. as you knew how to script... Fuck. Well, there goes all that. Oof. Was it? Um, also, question time. What kind of games do you prefer, people? Yes, I'm asking to everyone. Um, I guess I'll go first. Um, I Honestly, I just... And I only say it because it's the games that I grew up with. Like, games like this, where you have, like, a little cartoon animal, or something like Banjo-Kazooie or Crash or Spyro, where it's like a collectathon, obstacle course, or, like, free-roaming. Honestly, just as long as it has really, like... Like, the, the character designs are simple and cartoony, and there's, like, a really cool story behind it. If you can have those two things for me, then I would be satisfied with the game, even just for its aesthetics. Um, you know, uh, another example is Tai 2. I never actually got past the first level, but I really loved how everything looked, and that's kind of what, that's kind of what coerces me into a game. That's what gets me interested in it, you know? Let's see if we can try to outrun him in this glitch. Because why not? Yeah. Okay, it's the shortest one. Jeffrey Eastwood. Oh no, that's June 22nd, not May. Okay. Or is it August 22nd? No, it's June. Yeah. Oh six, twenty-two, eighty-six. 22, 86. Oh boy, another, another glitch. Flower. got this, honey. I believe in you. Yeah. Well, then believe in me that believes in you. <laughs> you can do it! Gambate! That's Japanese for break a leg. Not literally, but same idea. There he is! Is the boy. The... Run. Nope. You feel that jump, you can't do it. That sucks. It's, 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 it's like, I get it, but it's like, it's also too much for me to constantly go back and forth through this. Yeah. To try to get it. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, so you got eyes this time. Yeah, I noticed the, the thing in the corner. Who boy. Was that, uh... I don't know why, but cartoons I love so much in Violet Coyote and Roadrunner. I need to watch more cartoons. Honestly, yeah, if you can. Um, you know, I I grew up, you know, I grew up with all the Cartoon Network stuff. I distinctly remember, like, like telling my mom, Mom, we gotta watch the Cartoon Cartoon Friday! Like, I distinctly remember doing that. Um, you know, I, I watched some stuff from Nick, but I wasn't crazy about everything. Um, I remember back when it was still Toon Disney. Um, and I know a lot of the Disney Afternoon stuff, um, that all of that is on Disney Plus. Um, there's a ton of great ones. Everyone says the Disney Afternoon stuff is pretty top tier. Um, you know, there's Gummy Bears, there's my personal favorite, Simona Pumba. Um, there's Darkwing Duck, there's DuckTales. Um, 
Uh, there's Goof Troop, which is technically a sequel to... Or, I'm sorry, it's technically, like, the prequel to a Goofy movie, I think. Um, uh, and then there's another one, Winnie the Pooh. That No, I'm sorry, The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. That's the one that I was practically raised on. Um, it's pretty wholesome, but there is some stuff that can get pretty existential. I just, um, I just shared a scene, or I retweeted a scene on Twitter that, um, it didn't hit me as a kid, but now that I'm older, um, I totally understand why it really hits you, you know? Um, but yeah, so, I recommend a lot of the Disney stuff, mostly just because it's wholesome. There is some stuff that is kind of dated, um... You know, like, they say stuff like gnarly and bogus and cool, but it's done <laughs> in, uh... You know, it's done in, a, in, 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 like, the 90s kind of way. Anyways, there you go. There's your new We'll Be Right Back poster, or wallpaper. Because in Japanese it actually says We'll Be Right Back. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, that's the oh, art. Those are nice. Hold Thank on. You. Let me show. Let me show this off. Sure, uh, yeah. I have to save as... That's okay. Yeah, I, I'm showing my Borba the art that I made, and, uh, well, I'll, I'll wait until it's actually uploaded. Let me, uh, let me close Rabbit Night. We don't need that open anymore. Yeah. Escape? Yes, yep. escape, opt, delete. Uh... What is it? Why are things popping uh, up? I also watch a lot of Disney. Well, I think I watch more Pixar. Yeah, a lot of people watch Pixar, but again, their stuff is their stuff is great. I don't I don't really have any issues with them, you know. Um. Okay, let me add some images here real quick. Yeah, we're we're uh, we're putting up uh, all the images that I made. I can only pick one at a time here. Here's the first one. Yeah, so that was the first one that... Whoa, that's really big. <laughs> yeah, transform, fit the screen. Yeah, so that was the first one that I did, but then I realized, hey, wait a minute, I want to make this as a we'll be right back screen for my board because I, I love him very much and I want to make more content for his streaming stuff. So then I decided to make it into a 1920 by 1080, so uh, now he can use that for his uh, we'll be right back. Or uh, any other games that he makes. I mean, may maybe. I, I don't know yet, because yeah. this doesn't really fit the dimensions well, of the stream. Well, that's why I made the 1920 by oh. oh, it's the same yeah, one. There, there okay. You go. See? Yeah, that one fits perfectly. So That is really nice. <laughs> Thanks. But again, in the kanji... Um, I might yeah. cycle that out, because I want to get an animated BRB, too, so... Mm -hmm. I might cycle these both out at some point. Yeah, sure. Okay, oh, okay, so these are both the same image, just one's just wider. Yeah. More visible. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. And the best part is it's really subtle, but um, if you look really closely, it's the it's the barn in like up by with like closer to the text. Like there's the barn door, and then these little grass things. If you look closely, they are actually like Japanese haystacks. So that's another reference to Andy's apple farm. Nice. So, and then with all the eyes for uh, Peter Pumpkin, but it's <laughs> actually my my new persona, Katsumi, because he's a he's a shape shifting tanuki. So. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see, Where, how, what am I doing? How do I remove? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. We, don't, we don't want to keep it on there. And then, uh... I'm scared at what image 2 is. I don't want to look at it. That's not <laughs> something I imported today. Yeah. Uh... And then and that's the just... last one. It's, uh... I have to make it the yeah. right size. Hold on. But that's okay. There we go. Fit the screen. Yeah, so the bottom of it's, uh... It says, uh, Pongkatsumi desu, hajimimashite, which is literally. I tried to make a pun with it, so it's Pongkatsumi because his head's a pumpkin. Yeah. But it's literally just, I'm Peter Pumpkin, nice to meet you. But it's just, I'm Pongkatsumi, nice to meet you. <laughs> so there's your, uh, there's your little lesson. You learned something today. You learned how to say, uh, I'm, I'm Pongkatsumi, nice to meet you in Japanese. <laughs> and there you go. These are all very lovely, and thank you. You, you didn't uh, have to draw all these for me. But, but I wanted you know. to, cause, cause I know how much you like streaming, and I wanted to make some content for you. Ah, uh, well, that means a lot to me, Nessie. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm glad I could stream this, these mm. games for you, and yeah, I had a lot of fun. Give you a good time, show you a good time. Yeah. <laughs> and then whenever uh, Chapter Two comes out, we'll uh, we'll we'll try to stream that too. Maybe and I don't know yet. I'll watch it first, and then I'll uh, I'll probably draw some fan art for that, but have it be us. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and then I also have 
I also have my Borb cosplaying as a uh, Margaret, so. Yeah. And then me cosplaying as Andy. Anyways, so uh, yeah. that's pretty much everything. I'll probably upload these in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so Try that's... Japanese by failed. Uh, try Duolingo. That's what Nessie's been using, and it's yeah, been honestly, working out for her pretty well. Yeah, if you have a short attention span like me, like, honestly, Duolingo is probably the best thing you can do. Um, because I'm already learning a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, and the other thing is not just Duolingo, but, like, try to go look for other sources. Um, you know, I, I've also been learning stuff through Spotify. I've been using... I've been trying to search for stuff on the books app on iPhone. If you guys use iOS, um, they have an app that not only has books, but also audiobooks. I found one of those and I tried the free lesson. And now I can ask you guys, um, Nihongo ga wakarimasu ka? Which is just Japanese for do you understand Japanese? Um, uh, you know, and I'm just, you know, just trying really to look low. for stuff. <laughs> oh. I was going to say, I tried playing a bonk sound effect there and it came out really low. <laughs> oh. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, and the other thing is just do it because you want to do it. You know, don't, you know, if someone's tried to force you to do something, you, it's not going to stick as much. But, you know, again, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. You know, I'm not the best with languages, but I'm learning. So, yeah. I'm learning. I'm learning. Anyways, um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't really have anything else, but... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty spent right now. I think um, yeah, I think I'm, it's best to end now. Uh, we yeah. got nine viewers, so we could raid someone. Sure, Let yeah. Let me see who's, who's streaming right now. Uh, Goofcat actually requested, because... Um, Is he streaming, though? Because I'm following him, and I don't see him active. Yeah. Hey, Goofcat, if you're here, let us know if and when you're streaming, so we can... Uh, we can't. Go. The thing is, a raid has to be done in real time, unfortunately. Also, I don't uh, think he's here anymore. Oh. I don't see him on the users list. I, I don't know, though. Oh, okay. it, it depends. Like, if he, was right. if he was streaming, I would raid him immediately. <laughs> um... Let's see, but you're going to go to sleep because it's 12.30 a.m. Oh. for you. Oh, okay. All right. Go. Well, I hope you have a good night. Thank yeah. you for stopping by and hanging out this whole yeah, go time. To, yeah, go to bed. Your sleep is important. I should stream earlier in the day more often. Yeah. I wish I would if I didn't have my job. <laughs> yeah, good game. Good game. Oh, Goofcat is streaming. Okay. Oh, well, then there we go. We can go raid, uh, we can, uh, go raid him once we're done here. Yeah, <laughs> well, we're done. So I'm going yeah. to stream him. I'm going right. him. Okay. Konbawa. Ojimenasai. That's Japanese for good night. Take care, everyone. I will be back Sunday evening with Live Alive. We're going to do Twilight of Edo Japan uh, scenario, and I'm going to be doing it in the most uh, bloody, not good way possible, because <laughs> I already played it the good way back yeah. when I did the SNES version. And I don't stream, but if you guys want to follow me and my silly antics, I am always, almost always on Twitter. Uh, Captain Kodak, C-A-P-T underscore Kodak, like Kodak Films. Um, you know, I've been there, so be sure to give me a follow if you want, and if not, that's cool too. Uh, everybody have a great night, guys. Let's get that raid set up. Mm. Channel is a follower subscriber only chat. Okay, well, mm. good enough, but hey, good night. Take good care, night. everyone. Stick around for the raid. Mm. Glue. <laughs>